Yes, investors not reacting well at all today. They also didn't react well in August when the initial ruling came through. Now, if we look at the actual monetary impact of this award, it's now down to about $80 million. So it's, it's pretty small in the context of buyers' overall, overall revenues. So it's less about the monetary impact and more about the fact that they have upheld the claim that the herbicide is scientifically linked to cancer. And right now there's over 8,500 outstanding claims in the U.S. around use of this weed killer so, Roundup. So to be clear, this $35 million was just for one specific case. How many cases did Correct. you say are outstanding? There's over 8,500, so wow. close to 10,000 cases pending um, and so this it, it's really about what this means for the fate of this herbicide moving forward mm -hmm. and it is certainly at, coming at a disappointing time right after the approval for the merger came through or the acquisition came through earlier in the summer they're hit with this ruling in August now a couple two points that I think are worth focusing on here uh, with regards to the reaction one this has been a real roller coaster for buyer shareholders when the Monsanto deal was first announced Healthcare shareholders in Bayer were enraged at the deal. They didn't expect this strategic direction from Bayer, and a lot of those healthcare investors actually rotated out of Bayer and made room for agriculture, chemical investors to come mm -hmm. into the stock. So there's been a lot of shareholder turnover over the last year, year and a half. The, the second point that I think is worth noting is Bayer is now moving from being a pharmaceutical company to a pharma, pharma plus ag chem company. Mm -hmm. That is a completely different portfolio. Pharma analysts, pharma investors, and investors are much less. investors, of course, as you say, the ones who would have rotated into it are seeing the story and probably getting a little bit nervous. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the reason that Monsanto, the reason that investors would buy into this deal is because you believe Bayer was making a good call on the ag cycle, buying in at a low point in the cycle, and they believed in Monsanto's portfolio. This is certainly some uh, negative news flow, uh, not simply from a monetary perspective, but also from a reputational perspective as well. All right, well Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.